Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, how to connect your smoke alarms to your home assistant. So, I will be talking about this kind of smoke alarms, domestic ones. I use, for the video, I use Acomag because I live in UK and the most common ones is not a sponsored video or advertisement, nothing like that. It just was easy for me to do it this way. So basically, just before I start and continue with the video, what you need to check in the beginning, before you attempt to any work. Basically, if you have, if you have a home and you have a couple of them in your home, say, for example, you should, if you have a home, you should have at least one each floor in the passageways and then additional in your kitchen. Also, I think uh, last year came the regulation you're supposed to have one CO2 detector in uh, nearby the boiler. So what you can do is a test button on everyone. This kind of one. I think this is the test button for this particular one. So basically, if you press this button and hold, the alarm should go off and then all the rest of the alarm should go off as well. If that doesn't work, then that means they're not connected together. So before you do anything else, try to figure out why, why they don't sound all of them. Because basically you have a problem. They should all go off because if you have a fire alarm, fire in your kitchen and you're sleeping upstairs, your nearby alarm should go off as well so you can hear it and you can run away and call for your firefighters so do this ch simple check first okay so how we're gonna connect the smoke alarm to our home assistant so we can get entity and the not notification on our home assistant basically you can use this kind of module hardwired relay module so this is an instruction for it how to how to connect this terminal or this terminal you can connect your incoming cables so you're gonna have live neutral and interlink that interlink basically sending the signal to all other alarms in case of alarm so you can take off one alarm put that plate connect and then you can feed the alarm over that plate so you won't be able to see it and then you have a relay output with common normally closed and normally open so to this relay output you can connect say i will do it in the way i will connect a modbus extension with digital input for example, this could be extension like this. This one have four digital input and two di digital output relays. Could be a TCP extension like this. Uh, if you never program for Modbus, watch my Home Assistant Hardwired tutorial. At least part two and part three, because it's about digital inputs and digital outputs. Uh, also, maybe you don't have to use Modbus. Uh, I heard some guys using ESP1 module to connect a door contact, for example, and this possibly may work the same way, but it will be wireless. Uh, another solution, if you're running your home assistant on Raspberry Pi, then you can use the pinouts to connect as a digital input. But if I'm doing it, I will use Modbus extension. This is the best, in my opinion, the best solution. So basically, once you read that relay state, you can create a binary sensor entity and then do whatever you want with it. Say, trigger the alarm or send a notification, whatever. So once we got done this, it will be handy to have a function so we can trigger the alarm remotely. So basically we can use this 
module basically how it works you connect the same way as the other one to your wiring then you can fit the alarm over it it's the same shape the, looks pretty the same but also you have contacts so if you have relay output you can connect these two wire to relay output once the relay act close the contacts all your alarm should go off so you will trigger the alarm this way uh, possibly you may use as a alarm for your alarm control panel if you haven't got the sound i mean then you you will get extra sound or may happen to you you can see on your camera maybe you have a fire out just outside your house you can trigger the alarm i think it's pretty handy function to have it done so uh, it's up to you how you're gonna use it okay uh, another thing which i like to show so some of these smoke detectors if you have old house and basically someone was trying to fit uh, interconnection between your alarms fit more alarms and uh, basically to run the cable was very difficult from each alarm to to another one and what they use possibly was radio link this radio link is a wireless interconnection so it should work exactly the same basically they don't have that third interconnection link um, that third wire but basically they communicate over wireless transmitter so that should work the same way just remember to connect to that plate that interconnect link from the alarm which you're fitting on it and it should work exactly the same i didn't try that but i don't see why not basically you can possibly see different makes of the alarms like firex or kiddy I think those plates should work with the Firex and Kiddy as well. I suppose I didn't try it as well again, but I don't see why not. I heard they work exactly the same, so it shouldn't be a problem. One more thing I would like to show you is a gateway. You can get a smart gateway, so you can basically read the alarm states remotely and things like that i was thinking i was hoping i see this gateway before in the, one of the shops and i was hoping they will create a integration for it in the home assistant but basically just before making this video i checked this gateway and basically this gateway work on gsm so it's not connected to your wi-fi it's connect transmitting data over gsm network over mobile network so it's probably never gonna happen and if you was thinking you will be able to do it i think it's probably not gonna happen that's in the end of this video maybe they are gonna make another one which you will be able to connect to your wi-fi but i didn't see on their website yet uh, so uh, I think this is this is all for today's video if you can if you have a better idea how to do it please let me know in the comment below and thank you for watching and see you in the next video